Hi guys, I'm Nicole from Creative Lass. Today we are going to make color swatches. There's just, there's no downside to doing these color swatches. This is like a game changer. I'm telling you guys, a game changer. <laughs> here today to talk about swatching uh, your watercolors. This was the very first swatch that I made. The problem with having it all on one page is that when you get more colors and you want to keep things grouped together like all my yellows and greens and so on and so forth, I have no empty spaces to do that. So today I came up with this idea of making these little three by five watercolor cards. We are going to do some swatching. I would recommend that you do swatches on all your paints to get to know them. And I wanted to talk about some important factors about watercolor paints. So the first one that I've already filled out, okay, I put WN to stand for Windsor Newton. So WN, Windsor Newton and the name of the color, Windsor Lemon. PY, the P stands for pigment and the Y stands for yellow. So the number of this pigment is 175. The box with a line through it says uh, means that it's semi-transparent. And ASTM stands for American Society of Testing and Materials. This is the light fastness. There's uh, one to five, and so one is very, very good. So my plan, going from light to dark, with the darkest being up here, that is why I put this black line across, so we could see how little or how much the paint covers up this uh, opaque line. Down here, I left a little space so that I could uh, wet the paper and drop in the color to see if there's any granulation that happens. After doing this, I believe the first and foremost important thing to do as a beginner, I wish I would have done this ages ago, is to make cards like this. I have learned so much about watercolors since I've made these. There are many things to take into consideration. Some pigments are made out of single pigments, some are made out of double or multiple. And the reason why this is important is pigments that are made with multiple pigments are gonna be duller. Plus, whether they're transparent, semi-transparent, opaque, which is very important to know if you're glazing, because obviously you don't wanna put a top coat of glaze that's like semi-opaque over some paint that you already laid down because you're not gonna see the different layer. So when you're doing it on a piece of paper, you can't really visualize it as well. Also with the cards, you can hold it up to your iPad or whatever reference photo you're using to color match. Granulation is when the pigment kind of sits on top of the surface and it kind of makes a speckled kind of pattern, which would be awesome for rocks, different landscape techniques. So you might want to pick uh, a color that granulates for that project. Doing this gradient wash, it's like part of practice that you would do as a beginner. have a, a wet scrub brush here. Okay, that actually lifts really well. 